Assalamu alaikum, Doha Khalil Barut speaking. Welcome again to my second presentation video. In this presentation, I'm going to focus on blood transfusion medicine, especially screening of blood donors in animals. And I will deal with four main points, which are the need for a blood transfusion, blood groups antigen, blood groups in farm animals, last but not least, just need to be performed in donor animals. Before starting, it's amazing to know that blood transfusion medicine goes back centuries and the first successful recorded blood donation was not to human to human, but dog to dog. In 1669, a physician named Richard Lewer successfully performed a blood transfusion between two dogs 150 years before the first successful human to human exchange was managed. So, let's get started with the need for a blood transfusion. Just like in people, blood transfusion can be crucial for many of the animal's patients in several cases like anemia, animals with a low RPCs count need donated blood to keep their body running normally, trauma, animals can be anemic due to trauma like being hit by a car due to ruptured tumors, especially splenic tumors, platelet disorder, it means that injured blood vessels bleed more than usual and heal more slowly, epistaxis, which is acute hemorrhage from the nasopharynx, low blood protein level, blood decluting problems. Last but not least, animals with hemostatic disorders often require repeated transfusion of whole blood, whether it was RBCs, plasma, or platelets. The question now is, can all animals donate blood? Actually not. In order for a canine and feline to be a blood donor, they must be healthy and friendly between the ages of one and six, Receiving medication for prevention of parasites, weight 55 pounds or more for a dogs, and 10 pounds or more for a cat, must be, must be vaccinated, the BCV of donor is around 40%. While the equine and bovine, a bovine they must be healthy young adult, free from blood-borne diseases, should never receive a blood transfusion, last but not least, no hostile if receiving a blood-based vaccine. Now, moving on to a blood group's antigens. A blood grouping test is a very important for every, uh, for every animal who wish to donate blood in case of emergency. So, a blood type refers to the presence or, absen or absence for a certain marker called antigen on the surface of, uh, of, of the RBCs. In the, in the APO system, if we are talking about a human, the presence of A or B antigen gives type A or B. The presence of both antigens gives type AB, while their absence gives type O. Blood, blood typing is critical for blood transfusion as they are very specific way in which blood types must be matched between the donors and recipient for a safe transfusion. The rule is simple. The patient should not be given antigen that their own blood doesn't have. This is because of, because of the recipient immune system may recognize any antigen as foreign and develop antibodies to target it for destruction. And by looking to this picture and applying the rule, a type A patient who is negative for B antigen can only receive blood from type A. And type O donors uh, and whose uh, blood doesn't contain B antigen. A type AB patient have both have both antigens can receive blood from anyone, while a type O person have negative for both A and B can only receive from type O donors, but can give blood to anyone. Another important antigen is D antigen or Rh or Rh factor. The blood type for this antigen can be either Rh positive or Rh negative. By the same rule, an Rh negative patient cannot receive a blood from Rh positive donor while the reverse direction is fine. During a blood transfusion, only compatible blood must be used. As I said, based on the presence or absence of a specific antigen on the surface of RBCs, blood is divided into groups. And that's lead me to next topic to talk about blood groups and farm animals. As we know, blood types or blood groups are genetic markers on RBCs that are antigenic and vary between species. For canine blood groups, at least 13 canine blood groups have been identified and they designated by the acronym DA DAA. Uh, which is a dog erythrocyte antigen and number for example DAA1, DAA2, DAA3 and so on. 
The main blood type of importance is the DEA1 system of which dog may be DEA1.1 positive or DEA1.1 negative. For feline blood groups, three blood groups has been identified have been identified A, B and A B. Type A is the most common blood type in cats overall. Type B is common in certain pure breeds. And type AB is red and is not the same as a human blood type AB. For equine blood groups, horses have the eight different RBCs groups named uh, A, C, D, K, P, Q, T, and U. Each group corresponds to a particular gene for which two or more alleles exist. For bovine and ovine blood groups, bovine have 11 major blood groups while ovine have seven, seven major blood groups. Now, let me expand on more details. Over 13 canine blood groups have been described. Eight DAA, one, DAA types are recognized as international standard. Dogs that are DAA 1.1 positive can be considered to be a universal recipient. While dogs that are DAA, DAA 1.1 negative can be considered to be the universal donors. Blood from DAA 1.1 positive dogs should never be transfused into DAA 1.1 negative dogs. And if there is an emergency and universal blood is not available, your dog may, re may re receive a transfusion from any available uh, dog that is healthy and large enough. The reason for this is that dog blood doesn't contain naturally occurring all antibodies. Now, talking about feline blood groups using an AB blood typing system, and uh, the types are AB and AB, and cats have naturally occurring all antibodies to other blood groups that they don't have. As a result, there is no universal feline blood donor. Type A cats have low titer of antibodies against B group, type B cats have titer of antibodies against B group, uh, and type AB cats have not antibody against group A and B. Now, talking about equine blood groups, horses have eight major blood types and more than 30 different factors or antigen for which they can be positive or negative. These can combine in a number of different ways, designated by an upper case letter for the type, combined with a lower case letter for the factor, such as SC, AF, CA, DK, PA, QC, and etc. All of these possibilities create about 1 in 400,000 chance of finding a 100% perfect match between two horses. The two most important and problematic antigen we consider when selecting equine blood donors are QA and AA. Now talking about ovine blood groups, seven blood group systems have been identified in sheep, A, P, C, D, M, R, and X. The big group has over 60 different antigen because it's difficult to closely match donor and recipient. The R antigen is a liquid that is found in body fluid and is absorbed into erythrocyte. Finally, talking about bovine blood groups, there are 11 major blood group systems in cattle A, P, C, F, G, L, M, R, S, T, and Z. Similar to ovine, the B system is highly polymorphic. The G system is similar to the R system in ovine in that the antigen is soluble. Moving now to the final main topic to talk about tests need to perform in donor animals and they will focus on screening of pathogens and course matching test. Canine donors should be heartworm negative tested for Ehrlichia canis, anaplasma, phagocytophilum, Babesia canis, Babesia gypsumi, and mycoplasma. While feline donors should be tested negative for mycoplasma and retroviruses. Finally, equine and bovine should be tested negative for retrovirus. Now, talking about the cross matching test. The cross match is a laboratory test that predicts a transfusion recipient response to a donor's RBCs and plasma by detecting any plasma incompatibility between the donors and the recipient. Cross matching is a three party procedure major, minor, and auto control. The major part of the test assesses whether there are antibodies in the recipient plasma that may cause a hemolytic reaction to the donor's RBC, while the minor part detects antibodies in the donor's plasma that may react to the recipient RBCs. 
In both parts of uh, the cross match, incompatibility is signaled by the agglutination of RBCs. And finished with auto control cross match, we also perform an auto control with our cross matches, uh, which is mean recipient serum with recipient RBCs. Uh, before finish or before finishing, it's amazing to know that because healthy dogs don't have naturally occurring all antibodies, a cross match doesn't have to be performed on a dog receiving a transfusion for the first time unless the recipient has been diagnosed, diagnosed with an immune mediated disease. And cross matching uh, tests should be performed in cats with unknowing blood types if a blood typing card is not available, for example, because of the naturally occurring all antibodies in cats. So, so that's bring us to the end of this presentation video. I hope you find it interesting and goodbye.